Hi, my name is Ali Ben Fatoum, and I am a specialty solution architect for IoT at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to connect gateways to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN. First, I'm going to start by quickly explaining what is LoRaWAN and what AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN enables you to do. Then, I will describe how LoRa Basic Station works. LoRa Basic Station is a program running on the host of a LoRa-based gateway. Once we have a clear understanding of LoRaWAN and LoRa-based gateways, I'm going to show you how to easily connect a gateway to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN and start ingesting data. And I will end by saying a few words about the AWS Partner Device Catalog in which you can find qualified gateways that connect to AWS IoT Core out of the box. Let's get started. LoRaWAN is a low power wide area networking protocol designed to wirelessly connect battery operated things to the internet. The LoRaWAN network architecture is deployed in a star of stars topology in which gateways relay messages between end devices and a central network server. The gateways are connected to the network server via standard IP connections and act as a transparent bridge, simply converting RF packets to IP packets and vice versa. LoRaWAN functions on top of LoRa, which is the wireless radio frequency technology. LoRa uses license-free radio frequency band like 868 MHz in Europe or 915 MHz in Australia and North America. Designed and maintained by the LoRa Alliance, the LoRaWAN specification is open, meaning that anyone can set up and operate a LoRaWAN network. To set up your private LoRaWAN network, you need to connect your LoRa gateways to a LoRa network server. With AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN, our customers can now simply and cost-effectively set up a private and scalable LoRaWAN network with a few simple steps. Eliminating the burden of managing a LoRa network server and its associated infrastructure. Customers can now focus on business logic, not on managing infrastructure. AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN provides a fully managed LoRaWAN network server in the cloud, integrated with LoRaWAN device provisioning and gateway management service. You just bring your own devices and gateways and connect them with AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN. AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN ensures that device traffic coming through the gateways belongs to the same AWS account, and the device traffic is discarded if the devices and the gateways do not belong to the same AWS account. All data sent to AWS IoT is sent over a TLS connection established by the gateway, so it is secure by default. AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN includes support for open source gateway software called LoRa Basics Station to enable customers to connect gateways securely to AWS IoT Core and manage them remotely at scale. LoRa Basic Station provides a variety of useful features on top of its two protocols. The LNS protocol is the primary data plane, providing a low latency bidirectional communication channel over secure web sockets between the gateway and the LoRa network server, also called LNS. In addition, LoRa Basic Station provides credentials management and firmware update interface via the configuration and update server protocol called CUPS. AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN provides a managed CUPS server for configuring AWS IoT endpoint on your gateway and for distributing the firmware updates. The LoRa Basic Station source code is distributed and maintained by Semtech. In this video, we are going to build and run the LoRa Basic Station on the LoRaWAN gateway and connect it to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN. To securely connect a gateway to a LoRa network server, a few configuration files have to be set up. First, the station.conf file, which contains settings to configure the gateway. Then, we need to define where we need to connect, and we have two options. 
the file tc.uri contains the full URL to the LNS WebSocket endpoint. The communication is secured using the credential sets tc.trust, tc.key, and tc.crt. The file cups.uri contains the URL to the cups HTTP endpoint. The communication is secured using the credential set cups.trust, cups.crt, and cups.key. If this file cups.uri is present, the gateway running LoRa Basic Station will automatically use the CUPS protocol to retrieve the LNS connection details. Now, let's configure and connect a LoRaWAN gateway to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN using Basic Station. For this video, I'm using the RAC 7246 LoRaWAN gateway that uses a Raspberry Pi Zero as a host. I'm going to start with a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS. Going through the installation steps, now I can insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and power it up. After a few minutes, I can access the command line of my gateway remotely using SSH. To start, we first need to make sure that the SPI interface is enabled. So let's enable it. Next, we quickly update the package list and install Git as we will use Git to clone the LoRa Basic Station repository. Once it is installed, we can clone the LoRa Basic Station Git repository and compile the binary. You can find all the commands I use to build the binary in the LoRa Basic Station GitHub repository. You should see now in the folder Basic Station a new folder named build-rpi-std. In this newly created folder, we will find in the subfolder bin the executable of LoRa Basic Station that we will use. Now we can start the configuration of the gateway. The first step is to create a station.conf file. I simply copy the example file available in the example folder. Next, we need to create the credential set and the URL link for the CUPS server. In our example, we will use the managed CUPS server provided by AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN to retrieve the LoRa network server connection details. So at this point, we are going to use the AWS console to get the CUPS URL and the credentials we need to finish the configuration. You can also use the API to do the exact same. Let's open up the AWS Management Console. Visit the IoT Core console. In the navigation pane, choose Wireless Connectivity and then Gateway to add a LoRaWAN gateway. But before adding gateways, we need first to add an IAM role to allow the CUPS server to manage gateway credentials. This procedure needs to be done only once, but must be performed before a LoRaWAN gateway tries to connect with AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN. Go to the IAM roles page on the IAM console, choose Create Role, on the Create Role page, choose another AWS account. In Account ID, enter your AWS account ID and then choose Next Permissions. Search and select the policy named AWS IoT Wireless Gateway Cert Manager. Choose Next Tags and then choose Next Review. In Role Name, enter IoT Wireless Gateway Cert Manager Role and then choose Create Role. To edit the new role, in the confirmation message, choose IoT Wireless Gateway Cert Manager Role. In summary, choose the Trust Relationships tab, and then choose Edit Trust Relationship. In Policy Document, change the principal property to be the service IoT Wireless.AmazonAWS.com, and to save your changes and exit, choose update trust policy. You have now created the IoT Wireless Gateway Cert Manager role. You won't need to do this again. We can return now to IoT Core and add a gateway. First, enter the unique identifier of your gateway. The gateway EUI is a 8-byte globally unique identifier. For our gateway, we use the MAC address of the Raspberry Pi expanded with two more bytes, FF and FE. It is a common way to increment the MAC address from 6 to 8 bytes. 
Then we choose the frequency band. My gateway is in Europe, so I choose 868 MHz. As an option, we can add a name and a description and associate a thing in the IoT Core registry. Then click on Add Gateway. In this step, we collect the security and connection resources we need to configure LoRa Basic Station on the gateway. First, we create in the gateway the cups.uri file and we enter the cups endpoint provided in the console. Then, we download the server trust certificates. We should get two certificates, one for the LNS server and another one for the cups server. Copy the cups.trust file on the gateway. The cups.trust certificate enables the gateway to establish trust with the cups server. Finally, we can create and download the certificate and its private key for the gateway. Copy the content of the private key in a file named cups.key and the content of the certificate in a file named cups.crt. Let's check we have all the files we need to securely connect our gateway. cups.crt, cups.key, cups.trust, cups.uri and station.conf. All good. We can now run basic station passing the SPI device as an environment variable using Radio Dev. Here, our gateway is securely connected to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN and has successfully retrieved the LNS connection details. If we check again the list of files in our gateway, we can see tc.crt, tc.key, and tc.trust. These are all the files we need to securely connect the gateway to the LNS server and exchange data. Now that we have a gateway connected to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN, let's add a LoRaWAN device. Before we add a device, we need to create a LoRaWAN destination for this device. A LoRaWAN destination describes the AWS IoT rule that processes a device data for use by AWS services. Because most LoRaWAN devices don't send data to AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN in a format that can be used by AWS services, an AWS IoT rule must process it first. To give the permission to our LoRaWAN destination to send data to AWS IoT rules, we need to create an IAM role. So again, go to the IAM roles page on the IAM console, choose create role. On the create role page, choose another AWS account. In account ID, enter your AWS account ID and then choose next permissions. Choose create policy and choose JSON tab. In this policy, we allow the IoT actions, describe endpoint and publish. You can find the content of the policy in the AWS IoT developer documentation. Then choose review policy, choose a name for the policy, and choose create policy. Now we go back to the IAM roles page, we refresh the list of policies, and in the search box, we enter the name of the IAM policy that we just created. We choose next tags, and then next review. In role name, we enter a name, and then we choose create role. In the confirmation message, we choose the name of the role we just created. In summary, we choose the trust relationships tab, and then we choose edit trust relationship. Like we did previously, we change the principal property to be the service iotwireless.amazonaws.com, and we choose update trust policy. We return to the LoRaWAN destination page and choose Add Destination. In Permissions, we select the IAM role we created. We choose a name for the destination. Then, in Rule Name, we enter the name of the AWS IoT rule that will process the messages sent to this destination. This rule is not created yet, so let's create it. Choose Create Rule. In the name field, enter the same name you entered in the field rule name, then choose Add Action. Select the action Republish a message to an AWS IoT topic, and then choose Configure Action. In the topic field, we enter LoRa1, then we choose Create a role. We give to the role a name and choose Create a role. 
Then we choose add action to add this action to the rule. Finally, we choose create a rule. The rule is created. We return to the LoRaWAN destination page and choose add destination. The next step is to create a profile for our device. In the navigation pane, under wireless connectivity, we choose profiles. Then add device profile. The name of our profile is OTAA for over the air activation. We choose the European frequency band. The Mac version for the device I want to add is 1.0.3 and I choose the corresponding regional parameters version. Then the Mac's EIRP. My device only supports class A. And finally, we choose add device profile. We will also add a service profile. We enter a name and we choose add service profile. Now that we have the LoRaWAN destination, the profile and service profile for our LoRaWAN device, let's add it. In the navigation pane, under wireless connectivity, we choose devices, then add wireless device. We select the device specification, in our case it's OTAA 1.x. We enter the dev EUI, the app key and the app EUI of the device. As an option, we can add a name and a description and associate a thing in the IoT Core registry. Then we select the wireless device and service profiles we created and choose Next. We select the LoRaWAN destination we created and choose Add Device. Let's test our device and see if we receive data. I subscribe to the topic named LoRaWAN in which my AWS IoT rule has to republish all the data received from my device. You can see the incoming messages with LoRaWAN metadata. You can also check in the details of your LoRaWAN device when the last uplink message has been received. Well, our partners make it even more easier for you to get started by providing AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN qualified gateways that connect to AWS IoT Core out of the box without any need to modify embedded software. You can search in the AWS Partner Device Catalog to find gateways that are qualified for use with AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN. Thank you for your attention and I hope you find this useful.